Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth hair growth oil and hair magic elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, a few months back, I had told y'all that when I was a child, I thought the natives were Asian. That's what they look like to me. And of course I was told, no, no, those are natives. Though. Those are natives. Okay. And now, you know, we're seeing their East Indians, Siberians, you know, but these folks have been perpetrating as the natives. And see, this is why Donald Trump got ice on these reservations. So I went to chat GPT and I put the question in, why do Native Americans look Asian? And I want you to listen to the answer it gave me. So it really lines up what I have observed since I was a child. So let me give you the answer and then I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Great question. This relates to ancient human migration and shared ancestry between Native Americans and certain Asian populations. Why do Native Americans resemble Asians? The reason Native Americans often have physical features similar to East Asians, e.g. straight black hair, high cheekbones, epicanthic eye folds, is because Native Americans are genetically and ancestrally linked to ancient peoples from Asia. Key Historical and Genetic Facts 1. Ancient Migration from Asia to the Americas About 15,000 to 20,000 years ago, humans migrated from the northeastern Asia, Siberia, to the Americas via the New Bering Land Bridge also called Beringia, which connected modern-day Russia and Alaska during the Ice Age. These early migrants were ancestors of all Native American peoples, and their Asian origin explains the shared physical features. 2. Genetic evidence confirms Asian roots. DNA studies show that Native Americans share genetic markers with East Asians and Siberian populations. Many Native American tribes carry haplogroups, e.g. mitochondrial DNA haplogroups A, B, C, and D, that are also found in our Asian populations. 3. Isolation led to unique identity. After migrating to the Americas, Native Americans lived in isolation from Asia for thousands of years, developing distinct cultures, languages, and genetic traits but retaining some ancestral features. Not all Native Americans look alike. Native Americans are diverse. Tribes in the Arctic, e.g. Inuit, may resemble Northern Asians, while tribes in Central and South America often have distinct features due to no money, climate, adaptation, and genetic variation over time. Some Native groups also mixed with Europeans and Africans after colonization, adding to the diversity. Interesting note, linguistic and cultural links. Some Native American languages, especially in Alaska and Canada, have the structural similarities to Siberian languages, further supporting a shared origin. Cultural practices, e.g. totem poles, Certain spiritual beliefs have parallels in indigenous Asian groups, though each culture is distinct. Summary, Native Americans look Asian because their e-ancestors came from Asia. 
during the Ice Age via the Nabaring Land Bridge, while thousands of years of separation led to unique Native American identities, the shared genetic and physical traits reflect their deep ancestral link to Asia. Would you like a visual migration map or more on high DNA evidence of Native origins? I can also help you SEO optimize a video or article on this topic. Okay, y'all, you heard the answer, and I actually agree with the answer, and it matches up with a lot of the information that you can find about the Siberian East Asians that made their way over here. A lot of that information is online, and a lot of it is in your local libraries, too. I guess people just didn't look, and if they did, they didn't really take it to heart you know if you crossed over the barren strait and you came into this land then how can you be native you couldn't be you came from somewhere else and no this land was not empty when these folks showed up there were already people here so no you please don't come in the comment with oh they were the first ones here no they weren't no, they weren't. You know, the reason why you're saying they are the first ones here because you don't want the real indigenous people to know who they are. So this is just more smoke screens and attempts to shut everything down. Well, you're not shutting anything down. And I'm glad this is becoming a topic of conversation because it should be. You know, it's a lot of identity theft that have been done on this planet. And in the end, we're going to find out more and more about it. You know, all the lies are unraveling now. And the truth will be revealed one way or another. And, you know, so y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think in the comment section. Of course, you're going to always have the ones coming here trying to insist that, you know, what I'm saying ain't true. And I, you know, stay out of my comment section because nobody's going to listen to you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.